Um, the first thing is whenever you see one of these alpha beta questions, pretty much out of instinct, even if they don't tell you to in this question, you should work out what the sum and the product are. Just, just do that because you're going to need to use those building blocks. In this case, alpha plus beta will be minus b on a, so it's just negative 4. And this one will be c on a, which is just 2. So there are my building blocks. So then my question is, OK, well, how do I build this thing out of these? Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing that you're going to have to do some expansion because especially when you see cubes are a bit of the culprit, they are often, I keep doing that, they are often quite hard to work with. So let's, let's just give this a go and see what happens. So the left-hand side of this thing is uh, 1 on alpha cubed plus 1 on beta cubed. So when I think about how these things are going to go together, um, I think when I see a pair of fractions, my instinct is to get common denominators and um, combine them into one fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. If I multiply this by beta cubed on beta cubed, I'll get um, this, right? That's that one. And then if I multiply this by alpha cubed on alpha cubed, I'll get this on the same denominator. Is that OK? Now, before I move any further, this thing down at the bottom, I, I can work out directly because something cubed times something cubed is this or cubed. Do you agree? So I can use that. I will rewrite um, the bottom like so. Now, this is just my, me mentally filing away. OK, I know what to do with that. All good. Okay. But then you come to the top and you're like, mm, what am I going to do with this? Now, I. Uh, as a two-unit student, in fact, you know an identity that can help you with this numerator. It's the sum of two things that have been cubed. So what's the sum of cubed uh, cubes identity? Do you know it? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Fantastic. And you've got this on your reference sheet, which is nice. So you've got this. Yep, it's on the reference sheet. Okay. So that's uh, that. Okay. Now, this is really good because whoop, I know what alpha plus beta is. I know what alpha beta is. Uh, there's another alpha beta here. And so that all that's left is, is oh, what do I do with these guys? Okay. Now, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to see through the question. Notice all right, these guys are the issue now. So I'm going to focus on those. Okay. Now, this, this bit takes a bit of fiddling. Okay. Um, to get an alpha squared and a beta squared, can you see that squaring this guy is not good enough? Because the alpha squared and the beta squared will then be tangled up together. You'll get alpha squared times beta squared, and you can't separate them. So therefore, I'm going to have to do something with this guy, because they have the alpha and the beta separately. Yes? So if I squared this, on the left-hand side, if I expand it all out, what would I get? Yeah, alpha beta plus beta squared. Do you agree? And that's 16. Okay. Now, I actually don't quite have that, but I've got something very close to that. Watch this. Yeah, I'm going to subtract something. So I'm going to do a two things in this next line. The first thing is I'm going to replace these guys. I don't need to keep writing them. I know what they are numerically. So uh, that's negative 4. Uh, on the denominator, I have uh, 2 cubed. Is that okay? Now, what do I have in here? Well, I'm going to write this in terms of this. So it's alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared. I've done this because I know what that's equal to. But this, of course, is not equal to what I wrote in the last line. To compensate, I need to subtract 3 alpha beta. Is that OK? Sure enough, this does equal to that. I'm good. I'm pretty much there. So this is negative 4 times. Uh, uh, because I've written it over there, I can just substitute it for 16. So if you write this down so you can refer to it, you're good. T minus 3 times, what's that, 2? And then you're pretty much home and host. Okay? Uh, it is important that in order to do, in order to simply write down 16 here, I have to have written somewhere that alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared is equal to 16, just like I have here. If I hadn't have written this down, I've got to show probably my intervening line would be this. I need to show I recognize what that is. Uh, because remember, you know what this answer is going to be. So therefore, just getting the number is not good enough. You actually have to show the steps, the logic, the logic that gets you there. Okay.